Hello and welcome to this round's uh, podcast about UC. I mean, at this point, it's already back to being a Chronic Club podcast, um, almost. Um, but yeah, today I'm accompanied by uh, Devil Omni and Tanalin. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, I was muted. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Devil, when are you joining Chronicler? So it's it, it's going to be a full Chronicler podcast again. Then um, Wait, go. is Devil a Chronicler? No, he's not. Oh, I haven't sold my soul yet. Whoa. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Can we move on? <laughs> but yeah, I, I actually was asked by a lot of people about predictions because apparently they're going to be some weird matchups that people are, aren't sure about which i'm not exactly sure i can agree with i thought it's mostly pretty straightforward but um we can get right into it i guess the first match as always is uh, a big no-brainer i think devil are you gonna choke against spl I mean, I'm not sure, man. They have a good roster, and you know. <laughs> Don't, didn't didn't like their whale even join you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, think about us. We are so bad that we are recruiting SPLs whales to beat them. You know. Yeah, it's all, all targeted. <sighs> all right. Then. KUM against NBE um, should be straightforward as well, given the reduced roster size of uh, KUM. Yeah, and their main banners join BDR, was it? Yeah. Or I don't know where. So. Yeah, Neo. our friend, India. Did Hone, did Hone and Nachu stay though, right? Did they leave as well? Um, Nachu has never played with us, hmm. and Hone is really busy with work this okay. season so he's not able to like it's like four in the morning for him yeah. like 19 GMTs. but yeah uh should be pretty straightforward as well then nfi against lrn they already played in the middle of the season got 100k by nfi so should be straightforward as well i think i think so too Unless yeah. the leaving of Shetta is such a big hit for NFI, which I don't think is the case. Such a big hit. Alright, Ben. Oh. He okay. was their shot caller though, so I, went, I don't know who's shot calling there now. Okay. Yeah. Good for them. They still managed to beat OBV in the same f and NW1. Oh, wait, when did he leave? I don't know actually. Was he already Sixth gone? game? I guess. I think it was yeah. after the NW1 game. Yeah. Good. Okay, so they beat NW1. Yeah. They also, yeah, they're also gonna beat LRN. He wasn't playing. Yeah, he wasn't playing that match with them. Ah, okay. Then BDR against WTF. Uh, straightforward as well. No, no whale recruits this time either. BDR, stop pulling WTF, please. Thanks. <laughs> it's insane. No. Facing them twice and then now you see again. <laughs> um, then FDH against Nas is straightforward as well, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Don't think Nas stand a chance, <coughs> even though it's going to be the Did first FDH season. have any competitive match this season? No, <laughs> they literally <laughs> just 100k everybody, except these. Well, I, I assume they gifted points. Yeah. All right, then maybe the first possible close match between BC, exclamation mark, and CAC. Oh no. Yeah, no. <clears throat> people have been really decided with this game, and I think it really comes down to how well KAC can take advantage of their big accounts. Yeah, but I mean, I also feel like it depends a lot on the time slot. Um, because I mean, CAC obviously won't pick 1900. Um, I think this will be a one GMT match. Probably. 
so it can it's still workable for Europeans, especially with uh, daylight saving now. Hmm. I think KC has like three accounts that can solo any of their banners from BC. Maybe not Diver, but rest is soloable by BB, Peace Town, and Lelele. Hmm. Yeah. It's just like in a NFI game. Yeah. It's 50 50. True. No, yeah. CAC really Last didn't season. have any competition either. They faced uh, WTP once in a closest-ish match at 7 a.m. Uh, no, I think WTP should have disbanded. It can't be that close. Uh, they got both mines, though. And didn't disband them. So I'm no. not sure if they okay. did. Yeah. I th I think KAC is, has the upper hand on this matchup. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Probably. I think so, and I think there's a lot there's a lot to say about like the intimidation factor. Yeah, definitely. I mean, also, I never saw BC play, so I've actually no clue how how good they are, how coordinated they are. They win races. Uh, I saw their Nox game. They won most of it, like. One mine, I think, CR, both ports. Yeah, they won all races, but mine, but one mine and mother against Nox. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, that's tough. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I probably would give it just to, to Kag at this point. Yeah. I feel like uh, they face again, though. That's. The yeah, they probably face them later on in the season, that's true. Then the next one would be N3 against NW1. Um, I feel like that's pretty straightforward as well. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yep. And CCK joined DEP, and, right? Yeah, and CCK joined DEP as well, or DEP. Mm -hmm. So even more straightforward. Then the same for WDP against Cake. Okay, G. Um, I assume yeah. they will play it thirteen hundred, which is ideal for both alliances. But WTP will just overpower them. They got a pretty strong UC roster. WTP oh, is actually oh, no. playing like really good. I compared to the previous seasons. Mm. I mean, they got 120k, but they are a bit more like organized and stuff. They even they are even doing speed rallies, uh, pretty like pretty synchronized. Well, they've had plenty of time to practice in A League, so. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> but yeah. But they did, and they have a strong they, roster. They got they got Red Drum in his accounts. They got uh, Chidori as well, in addition to the crash landing. In addition to all the WTP whales they already had, so it should be a no brainer really. I think someone is missing from the list, but I'm not sure. WTP? No, I haven't seen H O H. Oh. It did anything happen, man? <laughs> No, nothing happened. The bug. Uh, did you forget to register again? Or maybe um, you should have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe we should have not registered, but then again... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. Mommy didn't raise no chicken, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, we... This, this knew... season was really weird. It really was. Like, we played the first four matches. We won them all convincingly. Um, then we got N3-0 and then we got NBE in the last match, which when the two last matches we lost. I mean, we knew it was a pretty high possibility, or like basically certainty, that we would get NBE as we knew that Rip would dodge. But we decided we just, we just go for it and try it. Uh, fight the I mean, everyone battle. from like, everyone from like 8 to 16 was like within 400 points of each other or something. Like, yeah. it was... Crazy competitive in that sort of lower, lower bracket. Like really just one loss. 
yeah, get you kicked yeah. out of UC. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it. It's not like uh, we get to experience it from the other side now. I think it's the first, it's the first time we didn't make UC since we made it the first time. Um, but yeah. I mean, Normally, one... you should get into UC by winning four games, but I think you said you disbanded. So enemy team. Yeah, we always can game, We always points. disbanded uh, after getting ADK. Which potentially uh, came back to bite us, but then again, if we wouldn't have, we could have matched differently in the matches afterwards, could have changed again. So you can't really say that that's the reason why we didn't make it in. At least that's my opinion. Like we, we will still, we will still disband in, in upcoming seasons, but yeah. A lot of what's, what's and ifs that could have gone differently. But in the end, there's like no point in, in lingering in the past. We had a good match uh, against NBE and we had fun and that's all that matters in the end. Yeah, pretty funny game I heard. <laughs> I mean, it was competitive. At least from, from our side. Um, Omni's so quiet. Yeah, Omni's so quiet. <laughs> No, I was <clears throat> just observing, but yeah, it was it was a close and fun game. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what about the explode? <clears throat> right. Next up, uh, DEP against NBE. Um, I feel like it's possible as well. Yeah, Unless... yeah, NBE. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's going to be a major upset. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Omni has something planned. Ooh. Um, yeah. Then NFI against BDR. Did you guys get any whales? Um, did NBA, like recruit anybody for UC? No. No, no one. No. It's a normal roster. <laughs> okay. Then NFI against BDR is pretty straightforward as well, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> FTH against KAC. Like well, is... FTH is gonna win it, no doubt. They have so much more coordination and the power. Like if we were debating between the BC and KAC, I think FTH is certainly better out of this matchup. True. And the question basically is if KAC get Piece down into a building or into Lily into a building, can FDH kick them out? And I think they can. Uh, I think FDH can win at least like four or five rallies against Peace Town. So if they time it right, they would be able to, but I, because I don't think KC would properly reinforce it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then. N3 against WTP. Probably going to be another 1 a.m. match, I think. Mm, yeah. Most likely, yeah. Um, it has the potential to be a good match, I think. Like, if. Mm, if no. I mean, look, if WTP gets CC into the like, key building, I'm not sure if N3 and if they reinforce him properly as well. Can N3 will kick him out? Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think so. But then again, it's only one person, and they would need more than just one person like that. To, not that is kickable. Thing yeah. is, like uh, the rallying is okay, uh, but I mean, we only lost one building for the rallies, and I think we took that back right after. But their reinforcement game wasn't that good. Like their rallies, they attack good, but they don't defend as well. Alright. Well, we'll just give it to N3 or either yeah. one, I think. Yeah. Then, SBL against KUM um, should be pretty straightforward as well, given like yeah. the low, very low participation on KUM's side. Yeah, and also missing the main banners. Yeah. And SBL is decently coordinated. They're pretty decent mm -hmm. without Kanaka of course but but still um, oh. Lauren against WTF should be straightforward as well I think um, if we give it to NFI easily here then the same should apply to WTF I think 
Yeah. Um, well, I think this will be closer than the NFI one. Did VWF uh, lose any banners? I uh, don't I... think they did. I think they still have good coordination, but uh, someone said they don't have like really strong banners like NFI. So I haven't checked their roster. I don't I mean, have I any idea. The or the strongest one in WTF is probably uh, Joseph. But you were gonna say Bardock. Joseph yeah. is in BDR. Huh? Uh, that's Joza. No, no, I mean uh, he's Joseph. Joseph, not Joza. Oh, Joseph. Sorry. Yeah, I think he is probably one of the strongest. So... Oh. Ustoya is back? I think he was in DEP before. Who? Wasn't he? Ostoya. He's without Alliance now. I don't know. I don't know what's, uh, what's uh, going on there. He was in depth for one game when uh, they transferred. But yeah, he's in the UC roster. So I don't know. And Bardock, of course, he can... He can uh, negate him. Strongest account in WTF. Yep, yep. But yeah, I, I feel like even if it's gonna be closer, I would still give it to WTF. Um, I don't think it would be closer. I feel like they're pretty on par with NFI. Um, I think based on coordination, I'll just give it to WTF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nos against BC. Um, I think that should be. I don't know. Like it could be a good match, but I don't feel like Nos can deal with the banners of BC. Yeah, they just don't have the banners. That's it. And their coordination against Nox wasn't good. Like Nox was able to beat them pretty easily. It was close when like, mines opened. Pretty easily. Yeah, but... It doesn't look like pretty easily. Mm, yeah, that's what I said. Like, we, uh, Nox was winning hard, but when mines opened, uh, some, t some things went wrong and oh. they got into mines. Okay. But yeah, I, I think this is clear going for BC, because if you look at the second last matchup of Nox, it was the, against NSI, which is basically after the merge. Uh, Alt Alliance. No, no, it's it's not it's Alt, Alt Alliance. Oh. But it's not Alt Alliance. It's main players, but uh, not the most competitive ones. So, okay. Okay. Um, I think this is PC's match against Nos. Then NW1 against KAG. Um, would this be a 1 a.m. match as well? I think he's a 1300 alliance. Yeah. So NW1 shouldn't pick that slot. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing I'm worried about is KIG is a bow alliance and they're a bit powerful again at this point. True, that's it's is... full bow. Other than CCK, did NW1 no, uh, no. lose any other banners? No, so they Strahinia don't. is still there. <clears throat> yeah. Strahinia, DL Snow are still there. Mm -hmm. I soon. Yeah, I mean, NW1 still have the accounts to fight KAG, but uh, given that it's probably 1 a.m., and uh, I don't know, they haven't really played a real match KAG, so I don't know. It could be close. Yeah, maybe. You know, if it seemed like they had some competitive matches against other 1300 alliances. Yeah. I think but just I would based, say... on ex based on experience, I would give it 10 to be one. Yeah. Yeah, same. Right. Uh, NBE against SBL should be pretty straightforward as well. Yeah, I think so too. Especially without Kanaka. But even with Kanaka, it should be it would be a rollover. Mm -hmm. Then NFI against WTF. Oof. Mm -hmm. I want to okay. say NFI. <clears throat> wow. Like that's a thing. They didn't meet each other. Um, 
NFI beat OBV twice, NW1, LRN lost to N3 0 Meanwhile, WTF had no real matches, I think, outside of the one BDR match when they had uh, ATD support. Uh, I can't see that. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, like. NFI. NFI? Okay. Uh, uh, I wonder. You said Joseph is their strongest, right? Yeah. Uh, how is he? How is he strong compared to Minity or Dark Knight, uh, which is, mm -hmm. I think, NFI's strongest. Minity is Luigi pure... is there also. True, Luigi as well. Like Minity is pure calf, right? So Joseph mm -hmm. will solo him out of a building. <laughs> oh, okay. But, um... yeah, like that's the thing. <sighs> In, I mean, it probably will come down to to races and swaps and stuff. Um, okay. WCF's racing is pretty good. They, yeah, it is. I don't know. I have no clue about how well NFI is racing. Uh, NW1 won on races against NFI, but I'm not yeah, sure. Does it count? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, Why wouldn't it count? I don't know. I'm not saying anything. Was was, was Devil I... helping? Shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I mean, I feel like this is like... This is a real coin flip match. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like both teams can win it. Um, so you guys would say an FI? My yeah, money is on WTF. I was going to say NFI, but then you reminded me about the racing, and I think WTF's racing is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll <clears throat> go with WTF as well. We got a rematch of the first round then. Kak against BC. No. <laughs> I mean, if, if we gave it to Kak there, then we need to give it to BC here as well. Uh, to Kak as well, here as well. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially Kak. Although it could be it could be lesson learned. Like uh, if they get overwhelmed by the accounts, they could come up with a strategy to uh, work better against the weaknesses of Kak. I don't know. Could be a lot closer. Could be. Yeah, but then again, they will be more drained at this point probably. Like BC. True. While Kak, well, it, well, it won't affect uh, the top banners in Kak at all. Yeah, you're right. That game will be 1 a.m., right? Probably. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe BC says they play rather at 1300, but I don't think they would. Maybe KC picks 19. I think they did once. I think BC. I think BC has actually a few people, like a lot of people from USA or USA mm -hmm. time zone. <clears throat> so if the if the the event is at one GMT, I don't think they're going to struggle that much. Yeah, probably not. But I think that if they lose badly to KAC in the first round, there's definitely. Just based on, like I said, the intimidation factor, yeah. I don't think they're gonna come back from that. If it's actually like a lot closer than they thought it would be, I think there's a chance they redeem themselves in the fourth round. Uh, <clears throat> the thing is, like, they might just skip it to save speed ups because next is FTH and they will meet again no matter what. So there's also that potentially. But then again, because you can, if you win. Yeah, I mean, you don't, yeah, I guess, true, you gain saving speed ups, but then again, you're going to beat them either way. So if you can pull it off once, you can pull it off twice as well. I don't know mm -hmm. if, you, if I would skip their first match in that position. WTP against NW1. I'm giving it to WTP. I would Damn. 
lean that way as well. Um, although even if you just base it on banner strength, WP, WTP takes it. And as you said, Devil, they are playing a lot better this season. Mm, yeah. So they should take it. I mean, they are playing better compared to their previous seasons. Like they got still rolled over, but yeah. yeah. But at the same time, NW1 isn't really playing that well, I'd say, compared to their previous seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I think WC was uh, playing better. Allegedly, I haven't seen them play, but if you, I mean, I'm just taking Devil's word for it. If they're playing better this season and W1 are playing worse this season, then I would give it to WTP. Especially with yeah. CKU being in depth. Mm -hmm. Stop making us look like villains, dude. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> I'm just saying. You, you, <laughs> you, like, you, you got whales from two alliances that are in UC, actually. Then they joined you guys. It's like. I mean, happens. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then. Round four. Oh, wait, maybe we should have got banners from you. Maybe you would have gotten to UC. Oh, yeah, oh. true. That would have made a difference. Shit. Next time, I'll, I'll send a tribute. Next season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, DEP against BTR in round four. Easy game. <clears throat> I heard Are that. You? So, this is what I heard, but. You can correct me if I'm wrong, because I actually have no idea. I have, I've spent very little time in game because I've been having some health problems. Um, but I heard that DEP took in 21 fillers this season for UC. And I, I don't even see how that's feasible, but that's just what I heard. 21, that's a lot. I didn't fillers. count, like, to be honest. Oh, so it's that much. You didn't you count. To count. Fillers? Fillers as like fillers, rally leaders, or fillers joining for UC? Fillers joining for UC. Like fillers from other alliances joining from uh, UC. I, I really don't count, but could be around that. Oh, both. Damn. <laughs> it was same last season, to be honest. Really? It was the same last season? It's usually around that. Uh, I mean, not the exact same, but close, I guess. Oh, the, the, I see the Tsui accounts in here as well. Oh yeah, we played against them too, in AC. You just bully the alliances into giving you their rally <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I... After meeting them, they okay, I guess it the tribute. <laughs> Um. Uh, hmm. I mean, my answer is obvious. Baby's answer is obvious, but it's up to you guys. I mean, I think we'll... DEP's fillers aren't doing too hot since we're zeroing about two of them per week. But <laughs> that's just my opinion. Okay, like two of yours didn't get zeroed last night. Sure. It's okay. It was bound to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to that one. <laughs> I mean, okay. is it is it worth it for BDR to go all out and waste a lot of stuff against DEP on round four? Mm -hmm. Like if the game game goes one way early, you know, you, you this skip debate a lot of always matches comes up. if if you do this yeah. right. Like if if let's say like let's play it out. Like BDR wins here, then they probably face in through here, and if they win it again, then they like skip all the slower bracket. So mm. arguably, if it works out and you manage to pull it off in round four already and then win round six as well, then you save a lot. But you pay less, yeah. You it's, need to it kind of works out to be the same. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I feel like I would give. It's it always a it's always a debate, you know, um, with this because we have done that in the past where we didn't go all in the first round against ATD, um, but it was more about. Um, it was less about saving speed ups and more about I'm just going to use this match to observe how they play and not give up anything on our side, you know, like in terms of how we're going to play. Um, yeah. 
And also, like, it was the first time we were playing ATD kind of seriously, you know, the, the season that we won. Mm. And um, it's like I said with the intimidation factor, right? Like, the people go up against these big alliances, and then they're just like, they just tend to give up very easily because they're like, oh, well, there's no way we're going to beat all of their max accounts and, and and stuff like that. And they say that. And then, you know, when you when you do go all in on them and then you lose badly, it affects the morale of the Alliance, right? So then by the time you meet them again in the final, you just throw in a towel. So like the reason why we didn't go in like all the way, the first time that we played ATD in that season that we won was like not really about the speed ups, but more about protecting the morale and the strategy of the Alliance so that we can just kind of save that energy for mm. the final, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I would probably- I'm gonna give it to the BDR in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, would... I won't be offended if you pick the yeah, because that's a very, a very valid choice, obviously. Yeah, it is. Then in round four, uh, the other match mm. would be FTH against N3O. Um, uh, by doing Grom, you just saved yourself from an invasion, but you <laughs> might invite another one. So, good luck with that, pal. We're already invading. We've already said we're invading like three different alliances this season. So, we're starting with WTF. I heard some. I then, heard some now, rumors about now KC. Now we have to go invade KC. Yeah, now we have yeah. to go invade KC. <laughs> please like please do it now, like in the video. Like, for um, content. Look, the, the real reason why we missed UC is because every time we made UC in the last seasons, we always got invaded by ATD right after we made it to UC. So that's why we skip it this time, so we get a bit <laughs> of a break from it, you know? Like, it's all planned out. Right. We could have invaded you if you asked for it. <laughs> No, no, no. It's it's fine like it is. Okay. So yeah, FTH is <laughs> N3O. Um, I feel like this. Should this will be, be played at twenty-two, right? Uh, um. Probably. Well, it depends. I don't know what FTH chose because the last time we played FTH, it was at one GMT and not twenty-two. GMT. FTH, I think because they chose like seven or something like that. They probably go twenty-two plus seven and one. As STBE learned last season, <laughs> the hard way, the certainly matches. Um, so yeah, it should be twenty-two unless FDH go and pick one AM, which they could. I mean, twenty-two again, is not a bad time. No, it's not. I'll just give it to N3O. Yeah. Yeah. yeah then. Then NB against WTF, it should be a pretty straightforward match. Well, you obviously, so? I'm, I'm conflicted yeah. about this one. Straightforward, how? So obviously, I'm saying it's us, but uh... mm, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna say NBE as well. But well, yeah, same. I think it will be a tough one. I'm not so sure about that. It I mean it could be potentially, but I. Banners like WTF can compete. I mean, exactly. does have very strong yeah. banners this go around, but and I also think that WTF kind of give up too easily. <laughs> I should have gotten that prime for this one. Um, yeah, but I mean, like the the banner situation is like. I would say they are weak on the banner side than we are. And we and I went into the NBE match thinking it's their match to lose. Like even if we play our best, mm -hmm. we probably still lose. Um so that's why I think that WTF is just they will probably try and it could be a good match as well. But uh just re speaking realistically on, on and on paper NBE should take it under any circumstances, almost. I mean, even WTF wins all the races, even mines, NBE can still kick all of their accounts out, yeah. so that's the thing. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, then KAC against WTP. 
Um, should probably go to WTP, I think. I think so too. Yeah. <clears throat> they already played, right? Like uh, in WTP one. Yeah, they played at uh, seven AM and at the start of the season. But I would assume they would both meet at thirteen GMT now. Which, I mean, either way, WTP got stronger compared to that the start of the season. They got more people in. Um, so it should go their way. Yeah. They got more accounts and they have had practice since the start of the season. I don't yeah. think KAC's performance has changed over the seasons. It's just the brute force. So I th I'm giving it to WT WTP. Yeah, I would agree. Kak also didn't even register last match. They, they stole our strategy. Damn. Why he even does Strategy. They didn't register? No, they didn't register the last match. They only played five matches. Wait, they played? Wait, they skipped another match, but not the last one. What? I was gonna say something toxic, but I won't. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, they, matched the, they skipped the fifth match. That was weird, it's weird. Uh, they were going to face WTP or ATT, that's why. But, not, but if they play 7am, they wouldn't. No, they would. You played 7am? Fourth game, we played WTP. Fifth game, we played uh, some ran, I don't know. But sixth game, we played WTP, so they could play 13, I guess. Oh, yeah, they would have met WTP here, I guess. True. So they skipped yeah. one. Oh, okay. But yeah, I would give it to WTP here. Yeah. Then. BDR against NBE. Well, we didn't get any recruits. We already lost this season, so it's BDR's game. I mean, there must be some major fuck ups and like the best game ever from us if we are to beat BDR. You want that banner, man. You want that banner, go for it. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, we yeah. do, but we're not getting it. It was pretty close when we played them, but. <clears throat> we also played like probably our. Did you disband <laughs> or it was like really close? No, I think they no, it was close. Fifteen. Uh, it was close. I heard, I heard many different we, things about this match. Like some said we we, we just we, didn't play that well. Yeah. Also didn't. This whole season has been pretty weird. Like we have a lot of new people this season, like more than any other season. So we've sort of had to take our time to kind of teach teach them kind of how we play in BDR. Um, so it's a factor. The other factor is like, I'm just not healthy myself this season. So I've had to spend kind of less time in game um, preparing for AC and also like, I mean, <laughs> I was highly medicated during that. <laughs> um, like I listened to the voice chat because we recorded the match. I listened to the voice chat of that match like later and it was like hilarious, but um, and then also like NBA, NBA played really well as well. Like it, like Ooh. you know, I'm not taking anything away from like NBA and you know, Omni shot calling, and they actually played very well. So it's you know, it was it was closer than I think either team thought it would be. But I'm <laughs> taking my medication after AC these days. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't know how much I had to kick my alliance because they wanted to give up after five minutes and I was telling like, no, we haven't played a no, single yeah, serious yeah, game this exactly. season. We need to keep playing. <laughs> exactly. And I, and I think like that, that goes back to what I'm saying about the intimidation, right? Like WTF, I feel like they just give up really easily, like 15, in, 15 minutes into the match and they're just like, okay, forget it. It's pointless. But I think that if they actually like doubled down and kept going harder, then it would the match would be a lot closer than they were. Whereas mm -hmm. I think NBA don't actually give up that easily. Right. Hello, Dele. Look who shows up. It's nice of you to join us. Are you done exercising? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a really nice exercise and a good shower, you know. <laughs> Was it like that? <laughs> I have been bullying HOH by myself. So, yeah, you're, finger you're again, man. 
Wait, did HOH even make it in the? Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> I make we make it. The, we, we make it to the prediction. That's 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 what matters. Did, did, uh, did the button of like you know skipping the last match not work this time or? No, it it was broken. Ah, such a shame. It was a bug that we registered. Some yeah. Oh, oh wait, no it's bugs. Bug. Oh no, your monetization from. <laughs> We're obviously joking. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> but yeah, then. <clears throat> Second match of round five would be FDH against WTP. Well, um, this is where VWTP's uh, race ends. I don't know. I'm a little conflicted on this one. I'm I'm not sure. This would be a this will be a very close match. I feel like. Hmm. If if WTP plays as well as they played against ATD, the not the second match, but the first match, then they should have a shot against FDH. But, uh... I think if WTP wins all the races... Well, they have a really good yeah. racer now. That's what I know. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> WTP? Uh, I, I Sorry, I missed it. Yeah, yeah WTP. Yeah, CCPC yeah. wins mines races now. I can't really? uh, say a few things in here uh, that I already knows, but he's a good racer now. Yeah, he, wink, he wink. Won. He won that Interesting. race. Mm. So many Mexicans running races in these matches, man. What is this? Yeah. Like Rock, CC, know, right? Kirito, Wise Tainos. Good father. Racing with trash accounts, man. Just race with Max. You know, how can Devil even win that race, you know? I never saw him win races before that game. Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... So Omni was pretty straight, was pretty confident in FTH beating WTP. Yeah, I think it's I still am. FTH tends to crack under pressure, though. Like... Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good matchup. It, like this, this, uh, this season is gonna be shit in matchups. Let's be honest, it's gonna be really hard to uh, have like thirty good ones. If they just draw me insane last season, so <laughs> I will go with WTP. What do you mean they drove you insane? Against a trio game, you would have known if you were there, but yeah, they they choked on mines. Uh, yeah, they choked on many things. Not oh, um, sounds kinky. Uh, I'll give it to FTH. Just wow. I'll just yeah. give it to FTH and swear. Friendship bias. I don't like CCCPC. <laughs> um, I, it's a rough one, but I think. <laughs> I really don't know. This is like what this is the the first match where I'm like really really uncertain. Mm. I think it's really can go either way. Um, FDH was having much more participation in WTP. That's what I noticed. Uh, Check their last game. Eight ninety four is one okay, in the last match. FDH uh, is. If he's also involved in the oh, sorry. <laughs> no, don't think if the H get any. There, there is the time zone uh, thing though. No. Yeah. Also, a lot of people quit in FDH. But like, uh, I mean, they would probably play it like what one AM. Mm. Or maybe seven. Maybe it's seven? Like yeah, seven. It's like a new seven. Oh god, mm. seven AM again. Oh. It's Saturday, so WTP would be in their prime time. I guess. No, this is a Wednesday. Ah, uh, yeah, I was looking at round six. Oh, okay, that's bad then. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. Um I think I'll just go with FTH, just sub stalling. You just lost. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. But then again, there are a few matches before here that will probably mess it up already again. 
so. I mean, if someone gets thirty to thirty, like just contact me, really. <laughs> yeah, I want to know that secret, man. <laughs> All right, round six, getting into the you know, the top four now. DEP against N three O. Devil and Dealer. Tell me more about this matchup. Uh, I can. What I can say is, uh, compare. Judging by the game, uh, sixth game of the season, BDR versus Entrio, I believe that BDR has a stronger roster. Like, not so much stronger, but like, uh, not even slightly. It's in the middle. But if the this game is this close, I'm I'm not sure. Like, I think BDR should have move on buy more points uh, not because of anything it's because of the roster um, so yeah, it's about your alliance against neo not bdr by the way yeah yeah but, uh, but uh, since we will beat bdr in round four we should mm. beat entrio too that's what i'm getting at okay, okay. i think it's a it depends how much entrio bend over for dep like they do every event jesus christ <laughs> Belly, defend Alliance, man. Jesus Christ. I can't, no comment. I'm not uh, allowed. <laughs> Fucking. But yeah, I would give it to DEP as well, just based on. Uh, I'll trust uh, Devil's Judgment. I love Entrio, they are my best Alliance now. But yeah, we will win. <laughs> then BDR against FTH. Um. I'm giving it to BDR. Same. This would be a 1 a.m. match as well, right? Mm, yeah. Like BDR won't pick 7, uh, and three, uh, FDH won't pick 19. So. Uh, by the way, I picked WTP. Like, oh, yeah. There's a... Could be as well. Could be WTP in there, but BDR would still want Even if, if it's someone BDR, picked right? WTP. Yeah. yeah. They will defeat yeah. Like, yeah, like, even no matter who wins here, Bidia will still advance. Probably. Yep. If they don't choke. Now, that's a rough game. As long as, as long as uh, Tana takes some mats after the match, it's fine. So, Ooh. N3O against Bidia. It's like the third time they will meet this season, then? Yep. Mm. The previous two matches were uh, coin flips, at least, uh, looking from I the imagine. outside. Like, 4k difference in, in uh, those cases. It wasn't really a coin flip. It was. Eight. Yeah, it, it, there's different uh, periods of the games that were really like one sided, and some of them were not in both games. Like, the first game was much closer, in a, in a way. Mm. Yeah, I got both about nine for most of the time in the second match. Yeah. If I read this correctly. The second one, we won one, they won one, and then both mines got intercepted <laughs> on the swap. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, and then they, they couldn't kick Fredin out. Ooh. And Fredin's like a. He's not our strongest banner, so yeah. it was kind of weird. In, in I, I will say like there's something going on with the reinforcement queue like this season. I don't know. Like you send troops and they don't do anything, they come back. There's no report. Like, yeah, I have that. Else. I have that. I had that as well this season. I had me, um, multiple members say the same thing. It's I, I had the previous seasons, but I had multiple SFDHs this season. Like. I yes, I yes. also had a lot of yeah, me neither. I didn't get reinforcement as well, but it's, it's just like it's random. because like I have to use my personal rally speeds, right? And then like you get SFCAs, you like you're spamming the speed ups and they're not going anywhere. Like they just oh, yeah. go down. down into the abyss. Yeah, <clears throat> they're just square around. So what do we go here? Oh man. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is the second. Well, I'm giving it to BDR. <laughs> of course I'm, you do. 
I'm also obviously gonna give it to VR. What do you mean, Dele? Jesus. <laughs> so, I mean, Dylan and Devil probably would give it to Entrio. Uh, how do you know I would give it to Entrio? Oh, you just said they're, they're your best friends. Yeah, you're best friends now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I will, but okay, I will give it to Entrio. <laughs> So yeah, but oh, it's I mean, a fifty-fifty ground. Now you have to choose. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Germans are not good at picking sides. Who do you uh, want to get invaded by? Please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he will get invaded by one side, not the other one. <laughs> yeah, and three always to be waiting. <laughs> maybe talk and, and nightmare will invade you. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. And Rio has now some zero castles, you know. They're yours. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I mean, you don't tell me. I have scrolls. I would love to invade Grom. Wow. I think we'd all like to invade Grom. Yeah. Why you all invite me? Invade me. I'll make our own invasion alliance and invade yeah, him. You still owe me a, Z a solo, man. Remember? I actually don't. Mm -hmm. I got my death. Maybe we'll meet in. I, maybe I, we'll I, meet in. Uh, Oh, you can do it like Devil, just come solo. Get I've wanted to invade Grom ever since he beat me in the Riller's Trial. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm always... I missed it last time, but I'm... Uh, because I didn't... I didn't even know yet. it was up until like six hours later. And yeah, they're like, I, mean, I was like, oh, it's Riller's Trial. <laughs> like, oh, oh, no. No, but I feel like that's, uh, that's like some, some funny competition at the event at least to see who's... Yeah. Who's clicking the buttons faster. Um... <laughs> I mean, on paper. You're not getting graded on this. Yeah, no. <laughs> not, not I know. Yeah, I mean, on paper, BDR got stronger with recruits compared to BDR uh, to N three O, right? I could it N three O got eliminations. N three O got two two people Baron. joining. They got Baron and Eva, right? Fair. Yeah, I think. And BDR got Harlem. Chupi Mio. Winstar. Um, Chupi Mio, then. then Chupi was our DM uh, first game. Ah, okay. Shizarovsky. Goran. They got, they got Goran. Cake. Um, I'm not Harlem. Sure if, and, I'm, I'm not sure if Goran is a handicap or, or an asset. He's pretty good. He's good. He is? Like his rallies were. Yeah, yeah, the building. <laughs> yeah, I just I just know that when when he was with us, he uh, casually forgot to send a lord sometimes. And when we he was with TBE. Yeah. But yeah, Did I mean him tutoring. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> mm, um, We're going to war for this guy. Okay. So. <laughs> We're going to war with Cat for this guy. So. True. Gonna be juicy. <laughs> okay. Going to took bribes before the prediction. Yeah, okay. totally. So then final level. So like, if 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 I go this here, right? I'll have I'll have ATD show up at my doorstep right after this uploads. I mean, no, they will show up right, right now. <laughs> yeah. If you <laughs> if you bet on DP, you'll get invaded, but it'll be after like the three and we will we will protect you. We will protect you. Don't worry. I don't, I'm not yeah. sure I can no, trust that. You're, you're Joker stall. You're Joker stall. Oh, yeah, like. Man. But yeah, final against DUP and, and BDR. If it comes to this, what would you guys say about it? Do you, see, me. do you even see yourself winning this? I mean, I, I assume you do, right, Tana? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think it depends on the SFDH in the final. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's true. That's very true. Depends how many bugs or there are no bugs, but depends how many <laughs> interesting things happen. Features. Features. So how many features. interesting yeah. things happen. All right. In mechanics. Mechanically. <laughs> I mean, if it's this uh, matchup, I would think that. If it's versus Neo, I would change my thing into a more, you know, full uh, answer. So you would say that if N three O would be here, DP would win. Uh, or, I don't or know. Or the other way that. around. 
you know, I'm not in VDR, so I can't really, you know, take their uh, thing within I'm, you know, in the OIF to take my own airlines, of course. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is another rough one, man. Mm. Into your heart, you know it. I mean, I don't really care who wins in the end. But I, this I, is I the first season you can use all of your feathers from the round one. True. True, and we've got I some starting will... feathers from the match rewards as well. <laughs> I think it will depend on how both rosters also like improve over the UC matches. Cause they Remember both... last season, Chrome. Remember last season's predictions. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I mean, like, if you look at it realistically, DEP didn't really have any challenges. Maybe also have that one WTP match where you said that they played really good. But like outside of that, there weren't really any kind of matches. Uh, they did. They played really good, but uh, I won't give the numbers. But we were like really low attendance. Had some alts in the alliance, like low amount of people and voice. So even then, they couldn't beat us. So yeah. Okay. The new you, things are different. Yeah. Then if you look at the UC road, you got two easy matches on the SDP, then you got BDR. How we call NBA how easy game? Will, how much they NBA will try. Easy match depends on how hard they will try. The you have N3O yeah. also depends on how hard they will try. Like, I don't know how these lenses will be strategizing it. Then it could be potentially that you have the first real match in the final only. Right? Uh, our advantage is speed ups because n and BDR have bled each other twice. Uh, but we didn't get to practice as much as them. We did, but not like that, those. And their disadvantage is speed ups. True. Well, and speed ups having are like not a problem. For each building and... uh, I'm sorry. I think, I'm it's, gonna, I think it's gonna come down to like how many fillers get zeroed on each side. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Devil said he didn't want to be toxic today so i had to just fill in yeah i i behaved like uh before uh, games begin uh, i'm saving myself for after it yeah, just stay for after the after uh, reaction you know the next video oh yeah could be a very juicy one depending on some matches here um Double, did you change trips? uh i had to I don't want to. Did you reinforce uh, Night King with your bows while we rallied him? Uh, no, if I reinforced, GA would have lost his lord, so I spared his life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know it's true. You know it's true. <laughs> the you lost to play one dragon would have been <laughs> the deal breaker. Yeah, and I deleted my bows, so you take that back. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> Illidan would be so disappointed. <laughs> uh, I'll just go with DP. Come on. I'll, I'll, you can add us into the list of the fourth alliance. Yeah, to I'm going to add you to the list of people we're picking. <laughs> uh, be my guest in this round of predictions. Um, I, 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 won't, I won't hold it against you. No worries. Now I'm worried. Grom picked BDR last season. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> can you pick media again? Am, am, am I the jinx here? Like, am I jinxing yeah, jinxing it, it all. Hmm. HOH is gonna become the next Rebel Train Alliance after we invade them. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was toxic. <laughs> we are not RBS. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. Is there anything else you would like to add? Oh, well, this is pretty much sum it all up. Yeah, I have something to add. Oh, what is it? A. Hey. Devil sucks. True. Wow. True. Wow, wow, wow. Roast them. <laughs> You're like, good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, I'm going to do it Is this why I needed backup, Devil? Jesus, man. <laughs> devil yeah, devil no, I needed. Pick up to roast HOH. I thought you were gonna be toxic, like what the hell is happening, you know? He did point out 
he did really rub it in Grom's face that he didn't make it until you see this time. <laughs> but I don't mind. I, as I said, I can take Maybe it. Maybe HOH will indeed double. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Yeah, I, I, I already sold him and, and clapped him, and he sold me and lost Lord, so I, I think our... The, our... Yeah, yeah, he have nothing to prove against that. It was, it was close, come on. Like, it was close. close. Where's the report? Show it. Show I mean, it my solo on him was close. Like, he, I almost kept his Lord by soloing him, so you know. Yeah, totally. Totally. I didn't see, but I'm sure. <laughs> you didn't see, but you're sure. But yeah, then, thank you guys for coming. Uh, thanks for taking this hour out of your life to be part of this. Um, yeah, and hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Hope we could help with some decisions. Maybe not follow my predictions. If you want 30 of 30, don't listen to him. <laughs> exactly. If you want, to, if you want to get the final prize, listen to me. Also, make sure you upload before the predictions get yes, locked. Yes. yes, yes, I will. Well, I will. All right. Then thank you guys and see you for the post you see podcast then. Bye bye. Mm. Gonna be spicy. Yeah, thanks.